be pretty excited to be uh, on an AFL list. Yeah, wrapped with the opportunity. Like, yeah, got the call from Francis about half an hour before the pre-season draft and said he was 99% sure he was going to take me with the yeah, number nine pick in the pre-season. So I was pretty wrapped and yeah. So. Player 2-1-2-0-6-3. Brett O'Hanlon, Danny Nong Stingrays, Edith Val Aspendale Junior Football Club. Were you a bit nervous after the national draft? Did you have expectations to go there and, and then um, possibly get a second chance on Tuesday? Yeah, well, I had a high, high hopes for the national draft and uh, yeah, I was disappointed, but you've got to move on quickly and there's always more opportunities out there. So, yeah, just thought I was going to a big chance for a rookie draft, but yeah, I was even wrapped for pre season. I was never expecting it and yeah, just had to make the most of it now. So, yeah. What's the first 24 hours been like after coming here and, and you know, meeting the boys? Yeah, a bit daunting at first, like walking in, you see him, yeah, Brett Bledia and stuff, like yeah, Jack Rewa, just watching him play, like, just at the touchstone or yeah, the MCG, so it's good to get along with them, and they're all a good bunch of fellas, like, yeah, easy to get along with them, great great to be a part of the Tiger Land. So. And your first weight session, you had um, Jake King lurking around, how was that? Yeah, Jake was around and I got to join in, so I had a good first weight session with Jake King, so it was pretty, pretty good, like, put me through the paces and, yeah, made me work, so... And you've, there's a few of the Danny Nong Stingrays boys that you've been drafted alongside. A couple of the boys are here, um, Peter Wright and Todd Elton. How's it been? Has it been easier to settle in with those guys? Yeah, definitely. Just always, you always been good mates with them from last year. Had a good year with them, and makes it easier knowing people already. Like even Brendan Ellis, like good, easy player to talk to. Played against him last year, so yeah, like all the new draftees, like you all get along, you all played against each other, so it's good. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah. And tell us about your journey to the AFL, your junior career, and your, up until this point. Yeah, well, I played at Edifal for all my juniors and I played a year at seniors as well, so great, played with some great guys like Dylan and Jordo and yeah, we were, like, lucky they've all got an AFL list too, so three of us from the one team, which is pretty exciting, so yeah. Um, and you got your chance to represent big country this year, how was that experience? Yeah, like coming to the first year at TSC, I was never expecting it, so great to get the opportunity, like Robert Hyde coach, great, great fella, and Leon Harris runs it well, so... Great, great bunch of guys as well, so we had a great time and disappointed couldn't go all the way. So. And uh, what sort of play can the, the Tiger fans expect to see from, from Brett O'Hanlon? Yeah, I just thought it'd be like competitive and determined to do well, like try and break into the team, like even not just have an impact around the club, so just be determined and just will to desire to win and keep going, so hopefully the Tigers can play finals this year. So. And so your immediate goals would be to, to break in, maybe get a couple of games next year, or do you want to sort of strive for a round one? Yeah, I'm not, not being to it. Like, I like to play, but if it doesn't happen, you got to always can play well at Coburg and just have a good impact around the club. Like, even if you're not playing games for Richmond, just have a good impact and around the guys, even in weight sessions, training, just yeah, hopefully just have an impact around, around the place. So, yeah. Good luck with it. I hope it goes well. Yeah, cheers for that. Thanks. Thanks a lot.